I've been making videos on block battles every day the last couple months, and you may have missed some or watched them out of order, and that's okay because in this video, I have all of them in order. So I hope you enjoy season four of block battles. If you like the videos, then make sure to subscribe. We're really close to hitting 500k. Here we go. Uh, I love block battles. Starting out with the diamond orb counter by the chain, placing the grand pain and gaining extra turn, drops a levitation potion, setting up the pressure plate method, which I haven't seen a lot of these since season one. But Ender Pearl's out, putting down the cauldron, but countered by the lava, but countered by the water, dropping a flashman, gaining a turn, using to proc the redstone warp, gaining space with the minecart method for some reason, then drops the brain coil to end the game. Wow, this season is going to be a lot different with the paintings rework, and it doesn't even feel like the brain coral got nerfed. Overall, it was a good match. In block battles, the rank distribution just got released for season four. Each rank has three divisions. Wood rank has 8% of players. Leather rank has 11% of players. Copper rank has 17% of players. Iron rank has 27% of players. Iron three is definitely the most common. Gold rank has 18% of players. Diamond rank has 10% of players. Emerald rank has 5% of players. Netherite rank has 3% of players. Amethyst rank has 0.99% of players. Then there's the top 100, which you can compete in the leagues tournament at the end of the season. I got reset to Emerald 2 for the new season. Where did the rank reset put you? Ah, I love block battle. Starting out with a dirt block, but countered by the grass field combo, drops the con to a procking ED buff, but the milk bucket nullifies it using the vine bone meal method, drops the spore blossom, playing the poppy flower, switching decks for one turn, putting down the brain coral, countered by the iron trap door, procking the revive from the spore blossom, using the ice spore, which got buffed, gaining extra turn, setting up the minion method, but completely getting ignored, dropping the space warp placing down the purple block but countered by the flower pot to end the game wow the other player got extremely lucky using the spore blossom with that revive to clutch up overall it was a good match in block battles you can do biome warps usually a biome warp actually gives you an advantage in the match i'm gonna try and show you the ones i know which is not that many for season four the ice warp and fire warp which both have a 60 percent chance to work the snow warp which has a 73 percent chance the space warp which has a 20 percent chance the redstone warp which also has a 20% chance. The Void Warp, which has a 5% chance. The Amethyst Warp, which also has a 5% chance. The End Warp, which has a 1% chance, usually needing a Luck Buff. The Book Warp, which has a 10% chance. And the Sun Warp, which only works on Wednesdays. These are the only warps I've practiced. Which warps do you know? In Block Battles, there is Ranks. We are going to watch the lowest rank, which is Wood 3. Starting out using the Piston Method to get High Ground, drops the Standard Glass Wall, drops off High Ground, sets up a Candle Circle, granting a small armor bonus attempting to do a pumpkin wall but they misclick drops a button placing down the seed combo to gain some health blunders the stair jump to counter which all right getting high ground with the carpet strat tries to ender pearl uh turtles up i guess and playing the wither painting to end the match wow this game was interesting uh this is definitely the bottom of the ranks in block battles paintings were brought back in season four but reworked so we are going to go through them the albanian grants 10 luck both variants of the aztec minus 10 luck the bomb makes you lose your next item in your inventory the bob grants you an extra turn but only on wednesdays the paradistrad you gain extra health wasteland resets any warp bonjour you lose a turn the pool you gain 50 luck seaside you gain a turn. The Cree bet minus is 50 luck. Sunset makes it midnight for the rest of the match. Graham gains an extra turn. The Wanderer, you lose the game. Bust generates new blocks in your deck at random. Match makes all the warps nullified. Moonlight gives you the power of the moon. Stage spawns cobwebs on your opponent losing a turn. The Void nullifies the brain coral and purple block. The Wither alt f is your game. Fighters doubles the amount of elo you gain or lose in a match. Band paintings, Kong, Mortal Coral, and Skull and Fire. Paintings that I haven't seen yet is the RGB and pointer, and that's how paintings work this season. In block battles, there was this player who is wood three, and they think they could beat a diamond. So we arranged the match, and this is how it went. The wood player started out by using the turtle leg strat to gain defense, countered by the high ground jump, but fails placing the trapdoor wall, countered by the stone cutter, procking the ice warp using the hopper method to generate a one random block, putting down the furnace, but countered by the bull method, setting up for the turtle method, extremely slow though, putting down the snow warp, setting up a standard glass wall, uses a painting, getting the wither to end the game wow i kind of feel like this diamond player was uh boosted but overall it was a good match in block battles there is this developer that would actually supply banned blocks and leak information to the ghouls let me explain this developer went by billy and was actually one of the founders of block battles there are rumors that were spread around that they slowly started to lose interest in developing and wanted to see block battles fail around this time back in beta he met one of the founders of the ghouls and they both had similar interests and started 
order to work together. There isn't any evidence, but during the pink sheep hack, Billy was suspected of supplying all the pink dye to make this possible. Or when the Aether Warp somehow got leaked that was buried by tons of code. You might ask why are they still a developer for block battles? Well, when I asked the devs they told me this. There hasn't been any concrete evidence proving Billy is a part of this. They have checked the audit logs and everything, but it all lines up. So, they just have to wait and see what happens. Have you ever seen that developer while playing block battles? In block battles, there are ranks. We are going to guess which rank these players are. Starting out by getting high ground, dropping a standard glass wall while Ender Pearls to close the space, but uses the chain strat to nullify the Ender Pearl. Drops a Bio Book, giving all the warps a 100% success rate. Using a boat to close the space sets up for an End Warp, which normally has a 1% success rate. Putting down a Wood Wall. Drops the Shield Combo, granting a Protection Layer. Putting down the Wasteland Painting to reset the warp. Drops the Brain Coral Counter by the Trap Door. Proccing the Shield, plays the Pearl Block to end the game. Wow, this player had to complete the Master Explorer achievement just to even get the Bio Book. Overall, it was a great match. What rank do you think these players were. In block battles, flowers are brought into play for season 4 and are extremely difficult to get, but we are going to go through what they do. We have Allium, which burns the next item in your opponent's inventory, Azure, which grants 30 luck, only can use once during a match. The Blue Orchid, which gives all warps 100% chance. The Cornflower causes a rainstorm. The Dandelion resets the game back three rounds. Lily of the Valley lets you exchange up to three blocks via Ender Chest. The Orange Tulip is a bonus to Earth Entities. The Pink Tulip is a bonus to Void Entities. The Red Tulip is a bonus to Fire Entities. The White Tulip is a bonus to Snow Entities. Entities. The Wither Rose has a 20% chance to win the game, but an 80% chance to make you lose. The Spore Blossom procs a revive. The Ox Eye Daisy has a 30% chance to gain a turn, but a 70% chance to lose a turn. The Poppy Flower swaps decks with your opponent for one turn. And the Sunflower makes it sunny. The Band Flowers are the Rose Bush and Lilac. And that's how flowers work this season. And this is my tier list. Ah, I love Block Battle. Starting out by getting a high ground, but the other player also gets high ground. Procking the Grass Field, using the Ox Eye Daisy, losing a turn, drops the Dandelion, resetting the game three turns, using the Cobweb, but they proc the Jungle Warp, putting down the standard glass wall, but the Mind Read combo comes out, which tells you the next block your opponent is playing, drops over a block, countered by the Black Carpet to end the game. Wow, this was definitely a high elo match using the Jungle Warp and even seeing a Mind Read combo. Overall, it was a great match. Are you stuck at the bottom of the ranks in block battles? Well, I have some tips to help you finally climb out of wood. Tip number one, stop misplacing blocks and losing turns. If you are able to master this, you'll easily jump a full tier. Tip number two, use the purple block. It's a harder block to get, but instead of letting these blocks collect dust in your chest, saving them, you should use them to gain elo and win points. Tip number three, utilize the block shops in each rank. By doing this, you'll be able to get better blocks before your matches. Tip number four, using a high percentage warp like the snow warp and making a deck around your warp to win more games. Like if you use a snowball in the snow warp, you'll gain an extra turn. Hopefully these tips can help you climb in block battles. Ah, I love block battles. Starting out with the trapdoor wall counter by the stone cutter, placing down the wall combo, turning around playing the double wood, ender pearls to close the space, plays the painting, getting the Albanian granting 10 luck, but setting up the drain luck combo, nullifying the buff, setting up for the villager war, which works using the grass field combo, putting down the standard glass wall but drops the cornflower to start a rainstorm getting high ground playing the allium flower burning the purple block so they have to play the redstone torch but the lightning rod combo comes out to end the game wow i feel like these flowers are definitely going to become meta fast this season overall it was a great match ah block battles a game where you fight with blocks and items on an 8x8 board having the ability to gain elo and climb the ranks tons of clans and a strong developer team and it's finally here block battles is live now no but it it's april fools so not really but it is being worked on update soon in block battles there's this clan called the ghouls and they recently found an exploit to the new anti-cheat in season four they were somehow given access to some code to bypass the client giving them all of the banned blocks but this is exactly what the founders wanted to happen and let me explain why they were trying to find concrete evidence that one of the founders billy was leaking information so the other developers got together and made a plan to only tell billy a certain line of code to bypass the anti-cheat which they could easily fix after so the stage was set and he ended up getting caught leaking the code to a member in the ghouls, getting both of them banned from block battles. This is a rare W for the devs. Usually, they're typically pretty lazy. Hopefully, we see some real improvement starting for block battles now. In block battles season four, this is the fastest match I've ever seen. Starting off with a wood wall, placing the painting, getting the wither to end the game. Wow, using paintings can be a huge gamble, but overall, it was a fast match. In block battles, there are a lot of combos and moves used to win games. With season
season four starting, we're gonna look at the least commonly used blocks throughout all the ranks. Starting out with the orange wool, the trapdoor wall. Most players like to use the stone wall strat, the reset method, the shield combo, the jail method, the enchantment table, the watermelon wall, the space trap, the soul stone torch, and the note block. Have you ever used these moves this season? In block battles, you can get rare blocks and items for your matches, and I'm gonna show you how. Usually when you start playing, you get a basic deck with items such as the standard glass wall, trap doors, and ender pearls, and more. But you are able to venture off going to the block mines or completing some achievements. You can also use your win points that you get from winning games to get blocks in your rank shops. The higher the rank, the more items become available. There is also a way to get legendary items, such as the biome brink and the nether star by playing at events or just getting lucky finding them. And this is some ways to get items in block battles. In the Minecraft world, two skilled players, Austin and the ghoul's founder Luke, stood on opposite sides of the 8x8 board. They knew that only one of them could survive this final battle and the stakes have never been higher. Austin played the carpet method to gain high ground. Luke retaliated with an opposing stone wall. As they closed the distance, Austin switched to his purple block ready to strike. Luke, keenly aware of the impending danger, took out his black carpet ready for the counterattack, but Austin ender pearled away, setting up a glass wall. Luke switched to his own purple block and leaped onto the glass wall. He turned to an end rod and soul lantern, conjuring the chilling ice warp. Austin noticed an advantage. He placed another end rod and lantern behind Luke, unleashing the fire warp. Luke, thinking fast, down to water potion. Austin saw an opening. With a well-timed purple block placement, he knew Luke had exhausted his counters. As Austin placed the purple block, Luke started to disappear in a puff of smoke. He knew that this battle will be remembered in block battles history forever. Thanks, chat GPT. In block battles, there is this clan called the Ghouls, which is a group of exploiters, major hackers that try to ruin the game. And I was able to get an interview on some inside information. The person wanted to remain anonymous, but this is how it went. I first asked why. Why did you join the Ghoul? They told me they were approached after demoting to Netherite 2 and were promised a way to get his old rank back. My second question was, are you able to leave? Apparently, if you try to leave the ghouls, they will mass report your account in block battles to get it permanently banned. This was reported to the developers to hopefully fix this problem. And for the final question, what is the ghouls objective? They didn't really know how to answer this question. Being so low ranking inside the ghouls, they would rarely even see the higher ups. But this is all the information I've got so far on the ghouls. Guess this rank in block battles. Here we go. Starting off with a piston method to get high ground, drops the candle circle, granting an armor bonus, instantly countered by the armor stand, drops a cobweb, ignoring it, setting it for a B war, which has a 64% chance it works, creating space with the stone wall, getting high ground again with the carpet strat, for some reason sets up a turtle method on the other side of the wall, countered by the button, dropping a wood wall, but putting down the brain curl, getting the void painting to nullify the brain curl, throwing out the purple block, countered by the black carpet, to end the game. Wow, there was definitely misplays on both sides of this match. Overall, it was a good game. These are some of the banned blocks in block battles, such as the bedrock, which was used to trap players, forcing them to log out. Then the command block, which was used to manipulate the board, causing their opponents to lose the match. And the barrier block, which would make players mess up their combos by not seeing the blocks in front of them. Do you remember any from beta? In block battles, there was this match that went on for 43 minutes, which is the longest match in block battles history and we are going to go over it it was during the ender chest event where players were able to take as much items as they had to compete for a legendary item and it was down to the final match against two players the stage was almost reaching sky limit with counters on top of more counters hours and hours of work to achieve these blocks all to get this one-of-a-kind legendary item finally after 43 minutes one of the players ran out of counters for the blue carpet causing the match to end to this day i don't think the player ever logged back on to block Block battles. In block battles, you can get legendary items, such as the biome break or biome book, but it's extremely difficult to get. Let me explain. Some players got extremely lucky stumbling across legendary items, but most of the time, you will need to complete quests at the quest hall, ranging from easy quests all the way to impossible quests. There was this player who tried an impossible quest and lost days of grinding because they weren't able to complete it. So make sure you go in groups when attempting these. And the final way to get legendary items is through competing in events. Huh. Do you have any legendary items in block battles? Oh, I love block battles. Starting off by getting high ground countered by the cobweb, but enterprise a way to create some space, setting up a hot spring warp, which is a 43% chance, and it works. Drops a trap door wall, but easily countered by the stone cutter, getting high ground again with the carpet strat, sets up for a grass field combo, putting down a pumpkin wall to take away the sun. Reverse with the sunflower, uses the oxide daisy to attempt to gain a turn, but fails, dropping a sport blossom, plays the brain coral, 
to proc a revive using the Wither Flower to end the game. Wow, this player got extremely unlucky using the Wither Flower. This match was definitely decided by chance. Overall, it was an okay match. In block battles, there are ranks, and when you win matches, you get win points. Win points can be spent at in-game shops that hold different blocks. Depending on your rank, the shops progressively get better and range from wood all the way to amethyst. This is not the only way to get blocks, but is the fastest way. When you first get on block battles, you start with 100 points. What is your favorite block to buy? Uh, I love block battles. Starting on with the tree strap, but Enderpearl's a way to create some space, setting up a blue glass wall, getting high ground with the anvils, but it's easily countered by the potion toss using the new ice world which got reworked last patch putting down the blue bed using the grass field combo but drops the oxide flower to gain a turn combo with the poppy flower to switch decks dropping the purple block to end the game wow the combo at the end really shows how skilled these players are overall it was a good match in block battles there are ranks this wood player thinks that they could be emerald so we set up the match the wood player starting out with a standard glass wall using the carpet strap to gain high ground setting up the turtle up method but easily countered by the redstone torch plays trapdoor wall but countered again by the stone cutter using a pumpkin wall to take away the sun the opponent doesn't even care that the sun's gone they proc a grass field combo playing the orange tool of the grant a bonus to earth entities for some reason uses a lily of valley to exchange up the three blocks drops the tree method then they use a standard wood wall the opponent creates some space with the ender pearl plays the pain and getting the wanderer which used to make you lose the game but grants extra turn using the brain coral to end the game wow i think that this emerald player is boosted but i don't think the wood player should be emerald what do you guys think huh i love block battle starting off with a single glass wall plays a painting gaining an extra turn setting up for a candle circle granting an armor bonus dropping the pumpkin wall to take away the sun but instantly countered by the daylight sensors placing the target block but countered by the trident using the compost but getting ignored setting up a mind read combo to tell what the next block is plays the blue wool countered by the red carpet playing the snow warp throws the snowball but deflected by the shield causing a mirror effect placing the purple block to end the game wow the players seem to be getting better every single season. Surprisingly, this was only gold. Overall, it was a good match. In block battles, there was this group of players back in beta called the Ghost. This clan monopolized 80% of all the purple blocks in the game. They were the sole reason of the 1.4 patch that came out, let me explain. They would take turns staying online so members were always on, securing the purple block mine, while other members would search the ancient runes, learning all of the spawns of the blocks, making it almost impossible to get a purple block. So the devs came up with a way to make it available to everyone using block shops. For every match, you gain win points, which can be spent at these shops for blocks. But it was definitely an interesting story in Block Battle's history. The Ghost had 43 members at top 100 due to owning all of the purple blocks. Did you play Block Battles back in beta? In Block Battles, the devs like to get active in the community. One of the ways they'll do this is have 1v1s against the top 100 players in Block Battles. Usually when this happens, it will be hosted in one of the coliseums and be scheduled out a week in advance. I'm not sure why they don't switch it up though. Every match ends the same. The top 100 100 player will hit some ridiculous combo beating the dev recently the ghouls leaked all the developers ranks and let me say you would think they would be a lot higher of a rank because they made the game have you ever seen one of these matches in block battle season 4 you can end the game in two moves but you need an extremely rare item that you can only get in the wither biome surrounded by very difficult obstacles but this is how the match went starting out with a grass field combo but drops a glass wall, placing the Wither Flower to end the game. Wow, they only had a 20% chance of winning the game with an 80% chance to lose the game. Personally, I think the devs should take this out. What do you guys think? In block battles, there are ranks. We are gonna watch a top 100 match, which is the highest rank in block battles. Starting out with a grass field combo, drops an Oxide Daisy, losing a turn, which is unlucky, plays the blue Orca, making all warps 100% chance, setting up for the Amethyst Warp, using a biome break in a normal match, which is a rare sight, using the Skulk Orc, sets up a candle circle granting an armor bonus using the gold trapdoor combo granting an extra shield but nullified by the purple block countered by the black carpet to end the game wow the higher ranks definitely utilize all of the blocks especially the rare ones overall it was a good match ah, i love block battle starting out with the jail combo but easily nullified by the ender pearl procs the teleport to reset the player setting up the dragon warp getting high ground to avoid the debuff but using a stone wall to create space but countered by the stone cutter using another ender pearl to create space drops a standard glass wall using a wood while prepping for a painting plays the candle circle granting an armor bonus 
but use the painting, getting the stage, gaining a turn, playing the pro block to end the game. Wow. Seeing a rare warp such as the dragon warp really changed this game. Overall, it was a good match. In block battles, there are combos. We are going to go through the most common ones used in season four. The carpet strat, the trapdoor wall, the mind read combo, the stone wall, the glass wall, the candle circle, the stone cutter, the grass field combo, the turtle method, and the purple block. Which combos do you use? Ah, I love block battles. Starting out with the pumpkin wall to take away the sun. Ignoring the debuff, using the cauldron method, instantly setting up for a turtle up method, countered by the redstone torch, attempts to proc the ocean warp, and it works. Using the blue glass wall, then drops the red tulip to buff fire entities, plays the lily of the valley, proccing the e chest to grab the fire coral, uses the mind read combo to know the next block coming out, playing the fire coral, but it is easily countered. The furnace comes out for some reason, then they play a purple block, but before it procs, they play the dandelion, resetting the match three turns to end the game. Wow, the player ran out of time to proc the counter on the fire coral, causing the game to end. Overall, this match could have gone either way. There was this wood three player, which is the bottom of the ranks, that thinks if they tried hard enough, they could be top 100. So, of course, we had to arrange the match, and this is how it turned out. The top 100 player starting out with a glass wall. The wood player gets high ground, resetting the map with the snow warp, setting up a trapdoor wall for some reason, using the snowball which gains a turn in the snow warp, getting high ground with the anvil strategy, procs a lava warp but gets ignored, setting up the ice warp which got revamped, throwing down another wall method which is a huge blunder, stone cutter to get above, playing the pearl block countered by the black carpet to end the game. Wow, definitely think that this player might be in the right rank. What do you think? I just got promoted to Amethyst 3, which is one rank away from top 100. And this is how my match went. Starting out with the melon wall, but plays the pool painting for 50 luck. Gets high ground with the ladder set that was used a lot in beta. Setting up for the rocket warp, which is a two step warp. Tries to cancel it out with the ice warp, but fails. Uses the candle circle, granting some space boots. Then the rocket warp gets to the moon warp, causing the opponent levitating up. Plays the wood wall, but ignored by the cake method, gaining 50 luck. Playing the moon painting, granting the power of the moon, causing the trident to throw to end the game. Wow, this match was extremely close, and after I watched this back, I think the power of the moon should be nerfed. What do you guys think? In block battles, the mid-season patch for season four just came out, and this is what happened. The Wither Rose was vaulted due to top 100 players, losing games strictly from RNG. Levers and pistons were brought back, nice. The moon painting was extremely nerfed because players would take away the sun using the pumpkin wall and instantly drop the painting, gaining the powers of the moon. The furnace also received some buffs. They fixed an elo glitch, causing players to not gain the correct amount after winning. And for the first time, they removed the end warp due to technical bugs. What do you guys think of the midseason patch? In block battles, players can create custom decks. This player was able to win 32 games in a row, which caught my attention. So we're going to look at the RNG deck. We have a cake granting 50 luck, the grass field combo, the allium flower, burning your next opponent's block, which is pretty smart. The Azure Flower, granting 30 luck. The Wood Wall to possibly set up for a painting. The Pool Painting, granting 50 more luck, which is 100 luck. Then the Wither Rose, which instantly wins you the game due to the luck buff. So I spoke with the developers and they have disabled the Wither Flower. Which deck should we review next? We all have that one friend that is really bad at every game they play, that is always at the bottom of the ranks and can never rank up, or always having problems like disconnecting. But but let me tell you something. They are just happy that they have a friend like you to play with. Send this to that friend. Ah, I love Buck Battle. Starting off for the Turtle Method, countered by the pressure play, Ender Pearls away to create some space, using the Stone Wall to create more space, I guess. Countered by the Stone Cutter, setting up a Pie Warp that has a 3.14159% chance to proc, and it does, using the Red Glass Wall, but countered by the Lever. Fails to get high ground with the Piston Method, getting the Grand Painting, gaining a turn, using the Button Method, which only works in the Pie Warp to end the game. Wow, the player got extremely lucky by proccing the pie warp it honestly only worked due to the fact it's a tuesday but overall it was a good match in block battles players can create custom decks and today we're going to see the troll deck it caught my attention by making players alt f4 block battles after going against it so here we go we have a cobweb for stuns the gram painting to gain an extra turn the railroad method the flashbang to gain an extra turn the redstone torch and the teleport wand i asked the player if they could show us a match 
and this is how it turned out. They start out by using the cobweb to gain a stun, setting up the railroad method outside the board, then using the grand painting into the teleport one, teleporting the player into the minecart activated by the redstone torch, causing them to go out of bounds to end the game. I'm pretty sure this will be patched next season. Which deck should we review next? In block battles, there are ranks, and this wood player thinks that they can be emerald, so this is how the match went. The wood player starting out with a glass wall but misplaces blocks, ender pearls away to avoid the wall, getting high ground but nullified by the cobweb, ender pearls away, but the emerald player using a piston method to get high ground, putting down a wood wall, but the emerald player starts trolling setting up an amethyst warp and it fails with a 5% chance, setting up a pumpkin wall to take away this sun. The Ember player seems to like high ground and stop taking his match seriously. Plays a painting, getting the weather, ending the game. Wow, I think this player should definitely stay wood, but we all have to start somewhere. What do you think? Block Battles has a Discord where I ask for your ideas, and today we will be doing one. Not Senex thinks a block battle video would be sick, so here's the battle. Starting off with a tree combo countered by an axe throw, which works amazing. Sets up a seed method to gain extra health, but fails due to the high ground jump. The player sets up a pumpkin wall to take away the sun, but countered by the taillight sensors bringing back the sun. The player loses a turn due to time proccing the arena warp and it seems like they logged off. Wow, I think the player got mad that everything got countered. That was a very interesting match. In block battles, there are ranks. We are gonna watch the lowest, which is wood three. Looks like they're starting off with a standard glass wall and they also drop another standard glass wall for some reason. They go to the other side of the board dropping the stone wall, not sure why. They miss the fire warp, play a button, but gets ignored by getting high ground using a candle circle, granting an armor bonus. Puts another wall on a stone wall. I've never seen this before. Attempts the snow warp or gets unlucky using the red stone warp. Okay, and it activates. Plays the purple block but misses the counter ending the game. Wow. So this is the bottom of the ranks in block battles. We are going to guess the elo of these two players in block battles. Here we go. Setting up a trap door wall but countered by the piston method to get high ground. Rocks the black stone warp but turtling up to nullify the debuff. Drops the pumpkin wall to take away the sun but easily countered by the daylight sensors, bringing back the sun. Drops the furnace, getting ignored, setting up a shield combo. Plays the purple block, proccing the shield, drops the brain coral to end the game. Wow, after watching this match, I'm not sure what rank these players are. What do you think? In block battles, you can create custom decks, and there was this player that wanted to show the most passive deck that they could create, and this is what it is. The glass wall, the stone wall. Interesting to have two walls, but the trap door wall. I'm starting to see why this deck is unique. The shield, which is very situational. The candle circle, granting an armor buff. The turtle method, the wood wall. The paradistrap painting to grant bonus health. And the seed combo for more health. I don't think this deck will get you out of wood, but what do you think? In block battles, this player wondered why they got kicked from their clan. And this is what the leader sent me. All right, that's a lot of purple blocks. Oh. Huh. Do you think they should have been kicked? Ah, I love block battle. Starting out with the wood wall, but countered by the lush warp. Placing a stone wall to create some space, using the cornflower to start a storm. Ender pearls to close the space, but the jail method almost fails because it was really slow. Using the B warp to nullify the jail method. Using the shield combo, gets high ground with the anvils. Failing the wood wall, which is really surprising. Setting up a lightning strike, which procs the shield, dropping the purple block to end the game. Wow, these players both looked a little rusty. I'd say high gold, what do you think? In block battles, there are achievements and basic quests that can help you get blocks that can be used forever with the recharge feature instead of losing the item. But some of the rare items are one-time use, like the biome break or the purple block. The developers told me that implementing this feature was needed so players would stop camping the spawn locations of these blocks, making it harder for new players to get the chance to get them. Which quest have you completed in block? battles. In block battles, there are clans. We are going to look at the purple block clan. They have this huge purple block base that took tons of grinding to complete. They had to stay up days at the purple block mines, getting all of the blocks to build this base. They even have this cool wall showcasing all of their blocks, and they usually take any rank. I'd have to rate this base a solid 7 out of 10. What do you think? In block battles, 
games. One time, there was a server shutdown because of a game-breaking bug discovered by the ghouls. You might ask, what is this game-breaking bug? Well, if you placed one of the banned paintings that was obtained via command block, which the ghouls have a ton of them, but claim to have none, on a magenta glass wall, while using the amethyst warp, you could gain access to any player's chest, taking whatever blocks you want. So, the developers quickly shut down the server and put it on maintenance for 24 hours, but it took them 36 hours. When they went to go search the ghouls to get evidence to disband the clan, they somehow knew this shutdown was coming and cleaned up all the evidence, so no one was banned. Do you think the ghouls will ever be caught? In block battles, you can create custom decks, and there was this player who found a loophole, they thought, having an all-counter deck, and this is what it was. The cornflower to start a rainstorm, the black carpet to counter the purple block, the dragon head, which is a rare item which counters the enchantment table, ender pearl to create some space, the coral, the water potion, great for countering fire entities, the amethyst, stone cutter, and the light blue carpet. To be fair, they are only in gold, so this deck is pretty mid. What do you think? We are going to guess the elo of these two players in block battles. Here we go. Starting off by using the piston method to get high ground, using a cobble causing the other player to enter pull down, dropping the pumpkin wall to take away the sun, turtling up for some reason, procking the grass field combo, using the sunflower to bring back the sun, but the dandelion resets the game three turns ago, using the fire warp to make it sunny again, but using the soul sand warp, which is a 34% chance it works, procking a debuff to use the pearl block to end the game. Wow. I'd say that these these players are low diamond what do you think in block battles there are ranks and this wood player thinks they could beat a diamond so we set up the match and this is how it went starting off with a candle circle granting diamond armor which is pretty rare getting lucky proccing the campfire warp but instantly countered by the ice warp gets high ground which was a huge blunder procs the grass field combo putting down a standard glass wall using the blue orchid so all the warps are 100 chance using a candle circle only gaining a small armor buff weird procs the pie warp but they fail the ender pearl into the trap combo which only works in certain warps to end the game wow the skill gap is incredible and they should be wood what do you think in block battles players can create custom decks and today we are going to look at the fire deck which utilizes most of the fire entities to proc more buffs starting out with the fire warp the red tulip the magma block the yellow orange and red glass walls the fire coral the campfire work and the furnace i'd say that this is a great deck to climb out of the lower ranks and only has a couple of counters what do you think block battles has a discord where i ask for your ideas and today we will be doing one. Rain wants to see a video about player combos, so let's explain. Players can customize their decks. Doing this can plan combos out before their matches. Some combos a lot of lower elos try is the snow warp into a snowball combo to gain an extra turn, or using the flashbang into a purple block, which works if they don't have a counter. There are a lot of higher elo strats that the top 100 players use, but they need to meet a lot of requirements to get them to work. What's the craziest combo you pulled off in block battles? In block battles you can get a legendary potion through extremely rare drops or competing in events. This potion can reverse up the three debuffs and flip it onto your opponent, having the possibility to completely change the direction of the match. But only seven of them will be available for a one-time use in season four. And there has been rumors a Wood 2 player wasted one during a match and lost. Huh, do you have any legendary items? Block Battles has a Discord where I ask for your ideas. And today, we are gonna be doing one. Ink asked, can you win with the worst deck against the leather player. So I set up the match. The deck I made is the stone wall, the orange wool, the trap door wall, the note block, the white tulip, the candle circle with no armor preset, the ice warp with no ice entities, the lightning rod. And this is how the match went. Using the stone wall to create some space but countered by the turtle method, which was pretty smart. Drops the orange wool countered by the black carpet, uses the trap door wall but countered by high ground, plays the note block, getting ignored using the grass field combo, plays the white tulip, which does nothing but they play an orange tulip which also does nothing, plays the candle circle, granting no armor bus, drops the button, plays the ice warp, but fails, uses the anvil to get high ground again, but countered by the lightning rod combo to end the game. Wow, it was pretty difficult winning with the worst deck 
but I was able to beat a leather player. In block battles, they run events. Yesterday, the shrinking deck event started, where you start out with a complete deck of nine blocks or items. And every time you lose, one of your slots disappears and the arena shrinks as well. Players will compete for the next 24 hours, accumulating win points for a chance to get the legendary potion in preparation of the league's tournament coming soon. Matches are extremely fast when it comes down to the last slot. Are you competing in this event? Block Battles leaked a teaser for season five. They will be adding a game mode called the high risk for a limited time where players will be able to risk their inventory for the other players if they win. But if they lose, they lose everything. This game mode is going to be extremely risky. I asked the developers why they would create this and they responded with it's a vibe. So I'm not sure what that means. What else do you think they'll add in season five? Season four of block battles is coming to an end and the top 100 players will compete in the league's tournament starting tomorrow to have the chance to become the end champion and be put in the hall of fame. All top 100 players will use their best blocks and items to try and progress through the tournament. If any top 100 players are watching this, good luck. If you didn't quite make top 100 this season like me, there's always the next one. What rank did you make it to? The league's tournament has started and we're going to watch the quarterfinals. Here we go. Starting out with the grass field combo, placing down the spore blossom, dropping the wither rose, which procs the revive from the blossom, place the candle circle, granting an armor bonus using the shield combo, but playing the house warp, dropping the brain coral, countered by the metal door, procking the shield, setting up the lightning warp, which works, plays the purple block, but countered by the lightning rod to end the game. Wow. This match was extremely fast paced and the lightning rod was only able to nullify the purple block because of the warp. Overall, it was a good match. The league's tournament has started and we're going to watch the semifinals. Here we go. Starting out with the jail combo, but nullified by the bamboo warp. Playing the flower, resetting the match three turns. Plays the stone wall, creating space, but countered by the ender pole. Plays the teleport combo, resetting his spot. The other player plays the ship war, which is a three-step block combo, giving a debuff to the other player and losing a turn. Playing the trapdoor wall using a stone cutter to get above, gets high ground, then drops the brain coral, countered by the metal trap door to end the game. Wow, I'm really surprised how these players played all the blocks and someone was able to even do the ship combo. Overall, it was a good match. The league's tournament has started and we're going to watch the finals. Here we go. Starting out with the bed, but countered by the enchantment tail, playing the flower war, which is extremely rare due to the flower getting banned to proc it, attempting the crab warp but fails, dropping the azure, granting 30 luck, using the piston method to get high ground, plays the wood wall, but dropping the purple block, but playing the void painting, nullifying the purple block, drops the glowstone to proc the flashman, getting reversed with the legendary potion, playing the brain coral to end the game. Wow. To see a flower war this late in the season is crazy. Only a a couple still remain after they banned the flower to proc the warp. Overall, it was a good match. The league's tournament is coming to an end in block battles, and the rank one spot was decided for season four. Everyone that didn't quite make top 100, good luck on the climb next season. Developers announced the patch notes for season five comes out tomorrow. One of the leagues is showing an unranked mode for more casual players. Interesting.